Well, we finished, we finished school reunion in the autumn, and I didn't know until early January, I think, late December, early January, that, that they wanted to see me for something else. Initially, I thought it was Torchwood. I thought, oh, I'm going to get past. I didn't know. Why, why else? Why would they want to have another meeting? And, and hello, how are you? And, you know, they want to talk about something, and that's all we had. And I thought, well, is it about this character? Yes, I think it must be. Oh, maybe it's Torchwood. Maybe I'll get beyond the nine o'clock zone. <laughs> But t'was not to be, and I'm really, really pleased. I mean, Russell T. Davis, the writer and, and whole, you know, engine behind this, he started out with children's television. I think it's absolutely so amazing. He wants to go back, write for children's television, you know, give them the ammunition that's good and they will aspire to it. I've got contacts in the city. They said it was like this company dropped in from nowhere. And normally it takes years of tests to get approval from the EU to market a new foodstuff. You got it in two weeks. All we're doing is satisfying a need. Which is? The people are hungry, Miss Smith, for new food, new drinks, new tastes. All the Western world does is eat. All day, every day eating. They gorge and feast and chew and bite. Everything sweet and hot and cold and sticky food and drink. Just food and drink. That's the human race. They devour. Who are we to deny them? You just finished filming the first yeah, we could Sarah do. Jane's Adventures. I know. So someone spilled the beans. Tell me a little of the story. Well, what's been said in the press so far, um, um, Sarah Jane is back on earth and she is back to her job as a journalist with a great renewed vigour. Um, she has her house and this house is set um, in present day in London. But it is not a house, um, it's a different kind of house. I saw the house on location and it's, it's so what she would have. It, it, it absolutely, it has a, a style that you can't quite pin down and as you look at it in the distance, the windows, you can't quite tell if there's another, or, or is that floor on that window? It's kind of a little bit um, mix and match, which is lovely. Opposite Sarah Jane lives um, Maria. I have a lot of young blood in this. Um, Maria has a friend, Kelsey, and then there is another, another being, human or whatever, who, who, who we find. I don't know if I've said too much there. Well, I don't think so, it has mentioned three three children in the press. The new show, does, does this pick up from where School Reunion left off? Yes, it does. Um, th th there is a gap of time, which is a very relevant gap and a very real gap of, I think, um, one and a half years, where I think this could have happened and, and she would have got her act together. And, um, and she still has K-9, you know, I mean, he's still daring and doing. Because K-9, I think, is, is just in this hour special, isn't he? To my knowledge, yes, he's, he, he, he's actually got a very important job to do that Sarah knows about. She misses him desperately and one doesn't know when he might return, but he is safe. I know you're pleased with how the filming went. Why do you think that it went so well? I opened the script and I didn't know what to expect. And I would get to a scene and it is just the most lovely moment when you read something, when you are, you know, familiar with a character and, and a format that you think you're going to have and you find something you never thought of. It happened about three times. And it was, like, oh, I didn't know that was going to happen. Amazing. I would never have thought of that, which is a brilliant thing for me to say because I, whatever, you know, she is this character. I do know her. I have lived with her. I do talk about her in various ways in, in um, replies to people as she was younger, as she's older, with different doctors. So you do, you do sort of um, pick up on, on a lot that you, you don't realise you retain. But to see that coming off the page, I thought, I had no idea they were going to do that. I do hope other, you know, every, well, I do hope everyone feels, feels like that. What's it like having this character that, that's been such a major part of your life for so many years? I feel very protective of her. Um, and I suppose I look at a script for Sarah Jane in a totally different way than I, than I would look at another script. I'm, I'm on two levels with her. I'm, I'm reading it and wanting to do what says there, but I'm also judging as to if she would do it. CBBC's viewers, they've taken a real shine to you as Sarah Jane. Well, why do you think that is? Oh, they're so lovely. I went down to film um, Totally, Totally Who, Totally Doctor Who. 
last year. And um, I, I, I was in the canteen and there was a rush of little heads towards me. It was so lovely. <gasps> it's Sarah, it's Sarah. I, I just thought, how brilliant is that? Absolutely. And then the dads would introduce themselves. <laughs> But that's because it, it, it's yeah. a win-win on both levels, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, one, one of the dads said, um, you wrote to me when I was eight. And you go, oh, hello. <laughs> but this is my son. How lovely. How amazing. You know, I don't think there's any other programme like that. If, no. Does it feel very different making a programme that is specifically for young people as opposed to Doctor Who, which was also enjoyed by young people? No, I didn't think of the slot when we were filming it. And, I think I've been so lucky with, with the director, Colin Teague. He, he, he has filmed it like a film. I, I personally love the format. I really do. I think it works incredibly well. Um, I think it's very inventive. And I have no idea what we're going to do for the other episodes now that this has sort of been rounded off. Um, we filmed most of it on location, and it was just the last two days in the studio. So you have a studio where there is the Doctor Who set with the TARDIS, there's the Torchwood set, and then there's the Sarah Jane set. And that is, we filmed there the last two days, and I was still finding things. It is the most incredible set. And I was still finding things. I was still rehearsing, and it was a take. And there is an explosion. They haven't had as big a one on Doctor Who or Torchwood. We've had the biggest explosion. I'm really proud of that. I don't know why. It's a very silly thing to be proud of. No, be proud of it. What Great, massive explosion. Why? Why what? Why the big explosion? What trick ah. is it? Ah, I can't say, I oh, suppose. Can't say. Oh, you're teasing again. No. <laughs>